H3D TV, we are back. All you dreamers, how are you doing? Um, I am quite excited about what's going on today. It's going to be um, a nice trip. I am in the van, just driving through my village and I am on the way to Preston. I'm on the way to Gregson Lane in Preston with what is going to be one of the best property experiences I've ever been involved in, one of. That is definitely a fact. It's because it's a joint venture and it's probably the largest joint venture ever to happen in the UK with a group of independent people, hands down. And what is it? What is it? Is that what you're saying? Is that what is it? Yeah, all will be revealed. But there is over 50 people in this joint venture. Each person has had to put in to be involved. And we have bought a property as a collective. And this is in joint venture with um, Steve Hamilton and Isabella at the property circle. And we bought a property, they've collected the keys. I'm on my way there now. I know a number of other people are, not everybody unfortunately, because uh, some are working, some are away, and some are unable to get there. But I'm on my way, and I am looking forward to seeing inside this house. We've seen some images, we've seen some uh, videos, pictures, and we've been involved in the process of purchasing it. We had a choice of houses, and uh, obviously Steve and Isabella, with their experience uh, in purchasing properties, they get the final say and we go with what they say and it's always going to make sense why wouldn't you're not going to uh, not going to go to a butcher and ask, ask his opinion on how to buy a house um on a meat yeah not houses so property circle joint venture is underway guys i'm uh, about an hour and 10 minutes away from uh, from this property when i get there i'm going to check back in i'm going to show you around meet some people that are there and uh, get a feel for the place and find out what's going on. And we'll continue recording what we're doing and showing you guys throughout the process of the UK's largest independent joint venture. Guys, this one's gonna be a good one. Catch up with you when I get there. So guys, I um, I have just, <laughs> I've just turned round, so I've just, Got to Preston, Gregson Lane. It's actually a beautiful location. It's quite rural. Um, but I'm, I want to show you what's, um, what I've just got to the end of the road and I've just been met with <laughs> something that's really made me chuckle. And it's like, here, here we are, look at us, in your face, the best thing I've ever seen. It's, um, I've just I've just pulled up to this. You'll see it. Um, Team Eleven Developments, and this is covered all around, all around the building. And um, I, I've, it's just it completely shocked me and made me laugh. Uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I'm here, guys. So I'll be going in and I'll uh, catch up with you in a minute. All I've So there's, so there's an We're up there. And then you like taking the pick out of his mate. Joint here. venture house, not that work. This not that work these days. Really Useless with this sort of stuff. Joint joint venture house. <laughs> Teams behind. <laughs> and it's um, it's basically not going to look like this, is it, Dave? No. It's not going to look like this at all. Well, say hello. You're supposed to start the work today. <laughs> um, you've come dressed like you're going on holiday. That's why I came dressed like I'm going on holiday. Took my boots off before I come. He won't look nothing like this in, what, eight months, would you say? Yeah. Six to eight months? Yeah, yeah it's, it's doable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, six to eight months is, is realistic times. But making no. a, a plan and getting it into action. Yeah. So hopefully the drawings we can get done in the next two, three weeks. Um, not a week. Come on, I'll put pressure on No, I've got the holiday clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be really good. Watch this space, guys. Everything that happens is motivation. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, joint venture house downstairs. One room. Kitchen. Some sort of dining area. Into what? Um, is some sort of downstairs bathroom that looks like a jailhouse. Some tiny little pantry with a chimney breast to come down. Cellar, so, uh, I have been down, in fact I'll show you down here because this is um, definitely something that's going to need sorting out. Obviously we've got meters, pipes and then we have two old beams. One there. One there. And these have obviously been rotten. We've gone into the building at some point, it's an old farmhouse. Been rotten and just been propped on two bricks. Piece of timber that's been found in garden quite clearly. And then that's holding the floor up. The ends have been cut off. Same on this one, two bricks. Kev? Yeah? We're just gonna do three drone shot if you wanna. So, bedroom one, beautiful. I think their wardrobes are gonna stay in. Chimney breast definitely stay in, because it's beautiful. Bedroom two, fireplace is staying. The hall in the loft, I think we might fill that in, but other than that, um, pretty good. Bathroom. This bathroom is beautiful. Somebody's pinched the boiler. So, I'm going to have to have electric heating. And then bedroom three. Out to the garden. That's the one of the extensions as you come in. Another flat roof extension beyond that. This is a flat roof extension in here. And and I'll joke it apart, none of it's staying, it's all getting ripped out. So, don't matter whether there's a boiler or not. Gonna be a good one, it's gonna be a good one. Watch this space, guys. Guys, woo. I'm, I've got some Rode microphones and um, pissing me off because I don't know how to work them properly. Um, joint venture house viewed. Um, absolutely amazing house. It is a three bed detached house, garage, quite a, gar quite a decent garden, um, it's fucked as a house, not to a point where it's structurally unsound, it's actually structurally sound, there's the odd floor repair that needs doing, from, probably from the basement side, but it's a solid house overall, but it needs some work, um, it needs the roof taking off, it needs reconfiguring, it needs, in my opinion, the staircase moving or centralising to a point where you, you've got a main entrance come up and have a nice gallery viewed style balcony, wrap around style. Um, extension on the back, from what I've been told, it's going to be six metres by, we measured it at about nine, nine metres and a little bit wide. Um, we had a guessing game to see who guessed right and I think... None of us did really. I think Isabella won that one, but we were all far off. Tom reckons he did, but TE or Tom, but nah, he kept changing his mind. But anyway, um, yeah, double story extension. We're going to turn it into a five bedroomed house, massive house. Rip out the downstairs, open up all the rooms, and create um, a mini mansion. And it's going to be a good project, guys. Um, we're proud to be part of it. HBD, HBD TV and um, Property Circle along with the Joint Venture crew. It's going to be good. Guys, keep watching and um, we'll keep you posted on what we're up to. See you next time.